that permeates the universe and it comes out of the earth 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and it is available to us to heal us and nurture us the only problem is we live in urban areas and uh, we live in houses and metallic structures and we drive cars and, and we have different things that interrupt that flow of energy and it creates detrimental waves and you know with uh, refrigerators, televisions, microwaves, cell phones, it just it's, it just disrupts the natural flow of the universe that permeates where we live and how we breathe. You know, just as a fish lives in water, they need clean water to live. They can't l really live in muddy water. You know, the electromagnetic smog and and interference that we live in is pretty much like a fish trying to live in a dirty pond. So it's you know, like the uh, energy from the earth. Yes. Well, it's not just the earth, but it's the, the entire universe. The universe. It is the thing okay. that, yeah, it's universal energy. Um, however, because the planet that we live on, the center of it, is basically a giant crystal, okay, and that energy is focused through the center of this planet, and it explodes out like a fountain, and we have access to it. But, you know, it's kind of a suppressed technology for a lot of different reasons because, as I said, it has health benefits, mental and spiritual and metaphysical benefits. And um, the powers that be that would make money in certain areas, if we had a general knowledge of this and we were to utilize this on a grand scale, there would be a lot less money made in a lot of different areas. It's a frequency. Okay, everything works on a frequency. Your emotions, your thought processes, they're, they're all frequencies. Now what happens, this is the highest form of energy that we have access to on this plane. So when you interact with it, it's going to make everything come in line. Whether it's, Some people use it for meditation purposes, just me, uh, general well-being. It transmutes uh, energy from computers, cell phone towers, if you live under power lines and things of that nature. You know, just as a lot of people understand that we live on a planet and they have, the planet has what you call ley lines, okay, which is basically a grid that goes across, an energy grid that goes across the face of the planet. It engulfs the planet, in fact. Well, that energy that travels along those lines is organ energy. And throughout the centuries, uh, advanced societies have known this and they have taken advantage of it. This is, like I said, this is an ancient technology. This is suppressed technology. The same way that a subway system works on a railroad track, this is the way that the ley lines work. And if you understand organ energy, you tap into it. That's why most of the major uh, cathedrals, uh, different sites, uh, palaces, cathedrals, uh, different things, uh, those who are in the know are built right on those ley lines because they're tapping into the energy. And they and architects do understand this energy, and it's not imaginary. You make these um, pyramids, crystals, you, you, you kind of harvest the energy? 
Yeah, basically, okay, well, okay, let's talk about the, uh, the basic construction of it. It's basically, uh, basically made with like resin. I use quartz crystals, some coils. You know, anybody can go online, I and mean, there's a bunch of videos now about organ, organ devices. Um, the organ, the generic organ of choice is basically the muffins. A lot of people know them, you know, as muffins because we use like muffin molds to make them, so they're the most commonly known. Uh, it doesn't matter because the muffins are small and we use like uh, copper coils and shavings of different sizes, uh, different stones like quartz crystals, different stones for their uh, healing properties. When the, re when the resin that you make the organ device in begins to squeeze, it tightens. It hardens and it tightens and it squeezes the crystals that you put in there, thereby maximizing the output of the energy that the crystal is designed to put out. So it's like, you know, you take a coal and you squeeze it and you make a diamond over a period of time. Well, just as that process takes place, when you squeeze a quartz crystal, when you squeeze a, um, a ruby or a sapphire or, you know, malachite or, or uh, amethyst, those particular properties become, they expand load out of it and it becomes beneficial almost the same way you would use an, an uh, humidifier or an ionizer in the air. You know, I always tell people when people call me in the morning, they're like, why is it so noisy? I said, because all the birds in the area, they live at my house. You know, because they, they, and wildlife and everything, they, they understand this energy and they just come to get as much of it as they can. All of the major sites in the world, uh, Stonehenge, the Pyramid, Taj Mahal, you know, all these places, they're all built on these energy lines because of this energy that comes out of the earth, right? And this is why I say that it is important, especially in the melanated community. Remember, this particular energy not just affects your health, but it affects your mental and spiritual well-being. This is an ancient technology and focus on that term technology. I'm talking machines, okay? A lot of people think that machines have to have a bunch of moving parts, not necessarily, okay? And these ancient machines are set up and they, look, okay, you hear people talking about free energy, right? Well, these things also put out free energy. When it comes to dealing with organ devices and quartz crystals, it reacts with melanin. A lot of the uh, ancient comedic drawings, you see them, they have onks and staffs in their hands and what you'll see, like um, one of the other devices that I make and I work with, you'll see the pharaohs, they have these little rods in their hands, these ancient Egyptian healing rods, okay? One would be of a copper construction and the other one would be of a, of a silver, a tin, okay? Now what happens is that these rods were filled with different uh, elements and minerals to affect this, the physical and the spiritual body in a way that you could affect your own ascension to balance the hemispheres of your brain out, to speed up your recovery, you know, to enhance intelligence, all kinds of things. And what they did in ancient Kenneth is that they tapped into the organ energy. And these pharaohs will walk around with these devices in their hands and just tap into the energy 24 hours a day. You got to remember, this is your ancient science. This alchemy is comedic science. It's a high level of science. To some people, it's such a high degree of science that they call it magic. Yeah. You know, because they don't understand the inner, inner workings of it. So they're like, oh, this is your magic. I'm like, no. Well, I mean, you can call it that if you want, but it's science. It's a high science.